first thing I did was teach every single one of my clients how to safely break up a dog fight. And believe it or not, there really is a safe way. There is a right and a wrong way. Most of what you hear are grab the back legs. And the reason why that's not a safe thing to do is because you can easily tear an ACL really quickly. The other thing not to do is try to grab them by the collars. Because what a dog thinks is when you grab them by the collar that it's another dog that's trying to grab them and their first instinct is going to be to turn to bite. They're not biting intentionally, it's just a reaction, okay? So what I'm gonna show you is the safest way to break up a dog fight for the fight to end fast, but also for you to not get bit at all. So what you wanna do is put your arm under the soft part of the belly, okay? So that's right in front of the hips, but on that pink little soft belly. You bring your forearm underneath, and then you take your hand and you put your this hand on the back. And then you wanna to start to stand up. Now you're not taking the dog off of the ground. Your, their front paws will always remain on the ground, but they're literally upside down. Now think, how easy would it be for them to turn and bite you? They can't, because the gravity is not their friend at this point, right? The other thing I don't want you to do in that moment is scream. If you scream, the intensity increases because they match you energetically wherever you are. So the best thing is to be quiet, or you could just say, help, that's it. If you keep screaming and screaming and screaming, it's gonna make it worse. So if you're dog savvy in any way, you can pretty much tell which dog is the aggressor. That's the dog you want to get, right? Because that other dog will just be happy once he releases to walk away from the situation. If you choose the wrong dog, now you've left it as bait. <laughs> so, so you want to choose wisely, okay? So once you get that lock, and this goes, the reason this hand comes over is because so they can't slip off. And I know it may seem like forever, but it's not. It can be anywhere from five seconds to 30 most. And you're just waiting for the release. If you start to pull back before that release occurs, you're gonna tear. That's a much bigger thing, okay? So you're just standing there waiting, waiting, waiting. As soon as that release hits, you're gonna pull back and you're gonna to try to bring the dog somewhere where the other dog is not.